Well, hi again. Um, this is the uh, the ongoing uh, T64 which I'm building, and one of the things that um, uh, one of the less good bits, shall we say, about the model is the unditching log for the rear. Um, it comes on a sprue of kind of vinyl-y rubber material, um, and is frankly uh, pretty awful as a, as an example or a portrayal of an unditching log. It's difficult to uh, to sand and to remove seam lines, which are huge. Um, it's really really difficult to clean up. It's really flexible. You can see. Overall, it's uh, it's pretty awful, um, and I wanted something that, that's going to look reasonably like a log on the rear of the vehicle. So, what I want to show you is, I hope you can see this effect here that's just taken me about three minutes to do um, on this uh, test piece of mine uh, to, to represent um, sort of wood, uh, wood grain and stuff on, on models. So, I hope you can see that and uh, I hope you'll agree that it actually looks very, very good. Now, this is a very, very simple process that I'm going to share with you. Um, now the first thing I did uh, was I found a piece of thick sprue, um, in my case I think it was from a 48 scale Seafire 17 Airfix which has got some really thick sprue parts on it. So I chopped the piece of sprue off, cleaned it up uh, and brushed on a couple of coats of thinned, uh, thinned filler, any kind of filler will do in this case I'm, I used um, this stuff which is uh, Holtz um, knifing putty, it's a car repair paste uh, I thinned it down with some um, cellulose thinner um, and heavily brushed it on, let it dry gave it a light sanding and then I um, gave it another coat with uh, Mr. Surfacer 500, that's been drying overnight um, 10 or 15 minutes ago I gave it a good heavy coat of um, XF78 uh, wooden deck tan from uh, from Tamiya. Uh, thinned it with a bit of lacquer thinner, gave it a quick spray, and here we are with uh, with what you see here. Um, so what you want for this is you want your uh, your base coat to be uh, very flat. Um, it's important that it's very flat because what you want is the following coats of oils to actually uh, bind to it quite well. Um, now at this point you can choose you know, a, a lighter colour, a dark colour, it depends on what the final colour of um, you know, you want your, your wood, your log to be. You can see the colour I've achieved here is quite a reddy brown um, colour. So I'm happy with that, I think that's going to look quite nice on the rear of the um, on the rear of the uh, on the rear of the tank. So the main colour for that is uh, it's oil paints, Winsor and Newton, um, and the base colour I'm using is um, uh, burnt sienna, which is a very red, red brown colour. And I'm also going to work some uh, some little bit of raw umber into it as well, uh, just to give a, a variation and a grain. Okay, so there's nothing uh, there's nothing particularly sort of tricky about this. Okay, all I'm doing. Is loading a brush up with the oil paint, which you can see there. Okay, and just give the uh, give your log to be a good coat. Now you have to bear in mind that 80 or 90 percent of this colour is actually going to come off in a very few minutes, but it's important to get a good coat over your over your log. I'm applying a bit on the um, on the ends here, but don't worry too much about those. Um, these aren't going to be subject to the overall uh, finish, if you like. So that's now received a good coat of the uh, burnt sienna. So what I'm going to do now is uh, just taking a, a drop of uh, 
the raw umber, okay? And then we just, the thing about oils is the way they blend, okay? So what I'm doing is just adding a few random streaks of this. Don't lose too much sleep over it, you're just looking for, you know, you can use lighter colours, darker colours, different browns, whatever, it all, it all adds to the, um, it all adds to the final effect, okay? So, let's have a look. So, so there's our log, sort of, uh, sort of roughed out now. Alright. So let's put the lids back on these and uh, pop the uh, pop our brush into some thinner to clean out the. Uh... Okay, so now what we need to do is represent the uh, is represent the, the wood effect. Okay, so what I'm doing is I use a little bit of um, tissue paper. Okay, and then I'm using a largish flat brush like so and now here's the secret okay it's just brushing in the direction of the grain okay keep as you can see with basically every brush I'm doing I'm cleaning the brush off on a piece of kitchen towel okay what you're trying to do is remove a lot of the oil paint and leave a grain effect. If you don't clean the brush off what you're going to do is you're just going to blend it all in and it'll just make a basically a horrible mushy sort of mess. Okay so keep keep cleaning your brush off. Okay and just keep doing this. Okay keep moving the brush, various strokes, do little bits, long, and the secret of this is because of the um, massively extended drying time of oils, you just keep working this. Okay, you're always going in the direction of the grain. Don't be afraid to experiment with some things like um, ochre colours and you know other colours, just to ring the changes. That brush is a little bit. You want a reasonably firm brush to do this. So I'm switching to a smaller but slightly firmer brush. Keep working it. And slowly, as you keep working it and removing more and more of the oils, a definite wood grain will start to appear on your unditching log. I'm just going to switch to a fresh piece of tissue here.
you can see there's less and less oil coming off as I move along um, as I go along uh, this is exactly what we want and slowly don't panic if it looks like one colour slowly the grain will start to come through on your log which is starting to do here now um, easy to miss the ends so make sure you pay careful attention to each end as well keep working it these are why all paints are so versatile for modelling um, it just allows you to build up these kind of effects. It's difficult to catch it right in the light, but looking at it in uh, in bare light, it's uh, it's quite a good quite a good effect I'm getting here. Okay, if you want to. Um, you want to vary it out a little bit what I've got here okay this brush is actually quite a stiff stippling brush and that's actually scoring lines in the oil paint Now I've removed most of the oil. This really is one of those uh, ones where you can call it basic techniques with uh, pretty advanced results. Okay, so I'm really quite happy with that the way it is now. So um, hopefully you can you can see that, and uh, it does look actually uh, really really good as an unditching log, which will obviously mount onto the rear of the vehicle here. Now, being oil paint, it uh, it will take a long time to dry. Okay, you have to put it aside. And, uh, and leave it. What I'm actually going to do with this is going to go be put in an airing cupboard, and basically I'm going to forget about it while I um, while I build the rest of the model and worry about um, uh, sort of finishing it off later. Uh, when that's perfectly dry, or you know, given given a week or so to dry, I'll give it a couple of coats of varnish to seal it in. You can do any sorts of weathering. Um, you know, it might look good with some green overspray on it, something like that. Um, but That I hope you'll uh, you'll agree is a far better looking piece of work than this here. So another little technique I just thought I'd share with you. So um, have a go at it. You'll be surprised at how easy this is to uh, to achieve. Uh, and I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you when construction of the T64 continues.